First, many of us drive a car, but how many of us know what goes into making one? <laughs> I don't. <laughs> but two and a half thousand pupils may just know the answer by the end of this week as Nissan throws open the doors of its Sunderland plant for them. Yes, the 11 to 13 year olds are touring the factory's manufacturing facilities and meeting the engineers there. The event is designed to encourage pupils to choose engineering as a possible career. Olivia Richwold has more. One of the biggest factories in the northeast. They can make a car in 12 hours. They can make almost half a million of them in a year. But it's going to take an entire week to show two and a half thousand pupils what's so great about engineering. It's a big task, but it's important because nationally there's a chronic shortage of engineers. I went to a school recently and asked some of the school children who they believed was the most uh, well-known engineer and I actually came back with the answer of uh, the guy out at Coronation Street, Kevin Webster and that to me was an absolute shock. Yeah because he's a mechanic and not an engineer so let's see if these pupils can do any better. Do you know any famous engineers? No, I don't, I don't know any. I don't know. Um, Richard Banson. We need to make these kids aware of what career opportunities they've got. It's, it's been fantastic for me and many of my colleagues here at Nissan. 5,000 people work here and one car is finished every minute. Nissan is of course one of the North East's biggest employers but there's a real lack of new engineering talent here. It's hoped that by bringing kids in and showing them how the factory works they might be the guys making these in the future. Well actually by the time they graduate they'll probably look a bit more like this the company's new hydrogen-powered motor. A car of the future unveiled to people who could well be driving it and manufacturing it. Olivia Richwald, ITV Time Tees, Sunderland.